Well, time now for a look at your health. The ongoing debate over vaccines and a possible link to autism is gaining momentum once again as parents decide on all those back to school vaccines. So to talk about that and new treatments for autism, we turn to Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thanks for being here. It's always great to be here. Well, let's start with the whole vaccine link. Let's debunk that right now because you say that's just simply not true. Yes, absolutely positively without any doubt there is no link between vaccines and autism. Autism. So get your kids vaccinated Absolutely. before you go to school. Let's talk about there's three categories of autism. We have actually a graphic to show our viewers at home who might not understand that these are really related. They, they all are related in a certain way. There's the regular aut autism and then Asperger's and then something that has a long name called pervasive developmental disorder. And basically the difference is you know, it's just a difference in degree. Right. The people with the last one, the PD, PDD, basically are the most functional. The Asperger's are also very functional, but have a hard time communicating. And then th those with real autism have the hardest time. All right, they can feel very isolated and it's very difficult for families sometimes to even relate to their own children. So let's talk about some of the symptoms that might rear their head in a child that parents should be looking out for. Yeah, there are many different symptoms. You know, anything from the dif difficulty with interacting with others, difficulty having maintaining eye contact, difficulty, you know, not uh, trying to follow directions. Um, also, no fear, no, no pain. You know, there's a lot of weird things that happen, but the biggest problem in aut autism is delayed diagnosis. You know, mm. we're becoming more savvy and we're able to diagnose our kids with autism earlier. And studies have found that when we can make an early diagnosis, especially before the age of three, we can actually train our kids to become more functional in society. Which is really important because ultimately the end goal is that they become independent and they have a, a fulfilling life. Let's talk about that there is actually an app for that. <laughs> that is an expression used in so many things, but there's also been all this research that autistic children seem to react really well to iPads and, and, and talk about some they, of the options They really here. do. iPads are wonderful for many things, but especially autistic kids. There's something called the Pro Loquo 2 Go, and basically it teaches children how to construct sentences using symbols and pictures. It also has a text to speak and a, a word uh, prediction. And then there's something for the younger kids that's called first then visual schedule. And it basically teaches kid how to schedule what they're going to do during the course of the day. And that's wonderful. And it is that sort of structure, that rigid structure. I have a nephew who is autistic and, and that's what he needs. And also these repetitive things. And you said there's something special going on in La Jolla that there is. really, really kind of illustrates their need for that kind of activity. Yeah, kid, autistic kids love activity. They love trampolines. It's like one of my uh, staff actually bought a trampoline for an autistic family and the kid just loved it. But here in San Diego, we actually have the Autism Society of San Diego. And this week they're wrapping up their annual surf camp at the La Jolla Shores. So kids, they love to be interacted with. They love playing in the surf and the water. And then trampolines are good, a lot of fun too. Yeah, well, one thing is for sure, get them diagnosed early, as you say, get the vaccines. There's no relationship there. And also keep them active. And there's a lot of great resources locally. There it sure like. are. All right, Dr. G, always great to have you on Tuesdays. You can tune in uh, every Tuesday, Walter, and get this uh, kind of information.